Beep, beep. Hi, Kimberly. Welcome to the show. Hi, Kay. I've never been on. Yeah, thanks for coming up. I am a uh, moderator for AD. Mm, okay. And you had quite a bit to say about him just a few minutes ago. And that's mm -hmm. unkind because a lot of time and energy goes into those shows. It's not clickbait. There are still two more questions we want to answer, period. What are those two questions? Rourke and NK. And I don't bash NK. I have never accused her of doing anything, but she is suspect. There are too many. There are just, there's too many unanswered questions. See, now this is sounding a whole lot like Andrachio. It's people say the same thing. There might be unanswered questions for you, but not law enforcement. But law enforcement oh, doesn't owe you any, he doesn't, law enforcement doesn't owe AD any answers. They, yeah. they don't owe you any answers. So if there's unanswered questions, that's on them. And clearly yeah. they don't have any. Well, they so do, they do answer. Them. They do answer. They do have to answer to people, okay? And when no, you have somebody. They don't have to explain to you why someone's not a suspect. They don't, don't have interrupt to interrupt me. That. Please don't interrupt me. I'm not going to talk over you. But NK, she deleted relevant information. She destroyed a SIM card. She withheld information. She lied to a, a federal agent. Uh, she left out information. She had, oh, what is it called when you, she couldn't even, she couldn't even remember a 111 minute phone call other than it was phone sex. So it doesn't matter what she deleted on her end. They had everything she ever said to Chris in text on his phone. Maybe. He didn't delete anything, but they can still retrieve that. So if they've gotten that information, which I promise you they did, and they have deemed her not a suspect, who are you an AD to proclaim yourselves more relevant and smarter than the actual authorities in Colorado? Eh, well, that ties into Rourke. Okay, so now, see, you don't have an answer for what I'm saying, so you're just going to now go to the next conspiracy theory. And that's no, Rourke has done some. Not. I'm sorry, go ahead. Your next point about her lying to a federal agent. Um, yes, that's problematic, but she wouldn't be the first, and it doesn't make her a murderer. Next, the 111-minute phone call. Whether she remembers it or not, only she can say and only she knows, okay? so that So whether she remembers it or not, we're, we're not, we don't know, right? And the fourth one, she did say where she was Sunday. She couldn't remember it first and then remembered she went to a museum with her family, which has been backed up by her family. She has an alibi for Sunday. Yeah, but, so, that, but it wasn't open on Sunday, huh? It wasn't open on Sunday. Oh, right? How do you know that? Because it's been looked up, not by me, but it has been looked up. Well, I'm, I I would have no idea whether it was open on Sunday or not, but I can tell you I've been to Denver many times, and the museums are not closed on Sundays. Oh, look, Sundays were some of their busiest days. I'm pointing out the detective and investigative work that's already been done. I'm backing up law enforcement. That's what I do. I back up the blue. And unless and until there is definitive proof that law enforcement has been neglectful of their duties, I back up the blue. I back up investigators. Honey, I don't I'm, I back up the blue. I, I'm not saying that uh, Frederick police are honest to God. I'm not saying that they did a bad job at all. I'm saying they were they their their hands were tied. Their absolutely hands were tied. And I believe that. By roar. 
if not larger. For for what reason? Why? That's what we're trying to find out. Oh, so you don't know why you just you want to discover a reason why? No, I have. I have. I mean, what is the, can you give me a possible reason why all of these investigators and law enforcement and this DA and all of his staff and all of these people would put their jobs on the line for Nicole Kessinger, a relative, nobody? No, it's not for Nicole Kessinger, hun. She just, she just got lucky. She got so damn lucky. She was, that she was, she was, she, it could have been anybody. Yeah. Oh, I would say she's not very lucky. Look at what she's had to put up with for the last two and a half years. What? What? Yeah. Trying to track her down, get in her face. People accusing her of being a murderess. I, I have never blamed N.K. for killing anybody. Then what do you blame her for? I believe that she was part of it. I believe she was there that morning. Okay, then you are blaming her for killing someone or being involved in the killing of someone. I did not say she killed anybody, Kay. Don't put words in my mouth. Well, you're saying she's complicit. I said she was, was she, she was complicit. I didn't say she killed anybody. She was complicit she was how? There. How was she complicit? Tell me how. Uh, were you just making this up there. in your mind? Right. I, I can't say you weren't there. what she did. So you're just making it up in your mind. So if you weren't no. there and you have no evidence, what is she complicit in? She's an accessory in my mind. How? Well, that's what is what your evidence about. of that? What is your evidence? So you've laid out your evidence and I've already I've already told you that it's irrelevant. So you've gone from implicating NK to implicating Rourke to now implicating this company in covering up these murders. Not covering up. I didn't say covering up. Then what are you saying? I still don't. You've been talking for 10 minutes. I still don't know what you're saying. Why? Why would Anna Darko fire NK then? If they were so concerned about the publicity of this and about this, the lid being blown off something that they had a problem with, why would they fire her and risk well, her becoming a wild card? They didn't fire her. Yes, she they didn't did. Work for them. They did not. She was her contracted out. Fired her. They let her go. She said it in her interview. They initially told her they were going to keep her on, and then they let her go. Right, Anna Darko did, but the company she worked for who contracted her out to Anna Darko, said her contract was done. It was completed. Just curious. Do you have a daughter? I do. Okay. How old's your daughter? 19. All right. How would you like it if this was your daughter and your daughter was the subject of an online witch hunt and, a, and an old geezer across the pond did daily videos about her, focusing on her and trying to convince people that she was a murderess or somehow responsible for the decision of a man who murdered his family? How would well, you feel if that was your daughter and her reputation was ruined and her life was ruined and it was difficult for her to get a job and nobody wanted anything to do with her and she was a, a pariah? on social media, how would you feel? Well, if my daughter made those choices and found herself in that situation and was completely innocent, I would have her go forward. I wouldn't have her hiding. But it wouldn't be your choice. I didn't ask oh, yes, you what would. you would have your daughter do. I, would, I asked you how you would feel if your daughter was being treated that way. Well, my and daughter so would be treated in that way. was making videos about her every damn day and making money hand over fist doing it, keeping her a suspect in the mob's eyes. How it's would you not. feel? I didn't ask you what you would have your daughter do. I didn't ask you if your daughter was innocent in this hypothetical. I asked you how it would make you feel. Can you answer that? I'm, my daughter wouldn't be in that situation. I didn't no. ask you that. I asked you I how, how you am I supposed feel. to Can you just tell me how you would feel if that was your daughter? I can't feel about something that has never yes, occurred you you lack or empathy. never will Are you occur. telling me you lack empathy? You're not able to put yourself in someone else's shoes and imagine how it would feel? Not in those shoes. Uh-huh. That, that goes against you just everything don't want I to imagine. I think you just don't want to imagine how it feels because you don't want to take any accountability for what you and AD do to Nicole Kessinger. Because you have too much fun doing it. It's fun living in your little tinfoil hat world where you everything's a lifetime movie and someone's corrupt and shady and hiding and protecting and this and that. She's It's fun. I get it. 
It's fun. It's like there's, living there's in a no movie and you get to be yourself smarter than the police. It's a no, certain level no. of arrogance. Not talk down to you, not be arrogant to you. Just show you. Arrogance, but not like you're saying. I, like I told you, I don't blame the police at all. I don't blame the police. And who do you blame? I still don't understand. Yes, you do. No, I and don't. Not, do and AB doesn't pull up person after person after person after person. And he doesn't make. He just now got a one bedroom flat. He doesn't get gobs of super chats. It's not a cash cow. Then why does he care if some woman in America is held accountable for what he thinks she's guilty of or not? Why does well, he care? That would be a really good question to ask him. Oh, okay. Maybe someday I will. But you came up here speaking for him and scolding me. No. Yeah, well, yeah. And you scolded me for what I said about him. Are you his bodyguard now? If 80 no, has a I'm problem. If I did scold problem, you because he has never said anything unkind about you, ever. No, he hasn't. And me saying that he treats Nicole Kessinger like a cash cow is not me being unkind. It's me stating a painful truth that I observe. No, you accused him of clickbait. You accused him of he does. Uh, he does do clickbait. Of, he does do clickbait. He does not do clickbait. He does this. He, it doesn't vary. It's always about Chris Watts. How can that be clickbait? Because that's clickbait. No, really nothing. Not. And a lot of the stuff he's come out with has been untrue. Well, it you may think has been untrue. It. And that might be a you know a conversation for y'all to have. But you do you, Kay. And let AD do him, but you don't have to put him down for it. I'm not stopping him from doing him, and I'm not putting him down. I stated my opinion. He treats this case like a cash cow. That's not me putting him down. Why do you feel that you're entitled to answers to your questions? Why do you think that he is going after NK when he is, I don't know how many times, cleared her? When people said she was in the airport, he said she was not. When people said she was on the beach, AD said she was not. You know, I I don't remember AD ever accusing NK. Now you can try to show me where he did. Chris Watts had an accomplice. I think you all know who it is, his mistress. I'm trying to get the final piece of the judge. I've got most of it. I've got most of it. All I need is the confession from Chris that she was involved. And I know she was. She's got no alibi. Nothing. Sunday, nothing. Monday, nothing. No alibi. In some cases, the data obtained from NK's electronic devices conflicted with claims she meant she made involuntary interviews with <laughs> investigators. She lied. Let's condense all that down. She lied to the investigators. And <laughs> I love the way Nancy says this. And like I said it again, um, the data obtained from NK's electronic, electronic devices conflicted with the claims she made in her interviews. What? Someone else other than me doesn't believe her? I thought it was just me and a few little YouTubers have been kicked off YouTube for telling the truth. Well, Nancy's saying it now. Nancy's saying it now. She lied in my opinion, and Nazi Grace's opinion. And meanwhile, while you trap around YouTube and you see people trying to discredit me, remember, it's because I'm right. Remember, we have 80,000 supporters. When you see these channels with 500 saying terrible things about me, Remember why they're doing it. It's to discredit me because I am so close and so right all the time. Armchair oh, Detective, lying again. Are we supposed to believe this crap? Really?